Most of you are wearing front lace wigs because they are so convenient. I bond my unit around the entire front hairline, securing many of them with this adjustable back strap, which can be a pain because these adjustable straps will slip out of the little casings here, or even if they fit into the casing, you're gonna have a loop right here that you can feel your own hair through. What I'm gonna show you today is how to take away this adjustable strap so when you are wearing it, it fits comfortably on your head. All that you will need is a seam ripper, a pair of scissors, small eye needles. I suggest you thread about three needles with the color of thread that's gonna match your cap. I am loving this blonde wig, but the one thing that's driving me nuts it's never fit really well, so I'm gonna make it fit perfect today because I wanna wear this blonde wig a lot during the summer. I just love the color. Start by using a seam ripper to remove that back comb. Put your wig on wrong side out, and I'm gonna fold the cap up to where it fits my head snugly and comfortable. You don't want it too far down, and you don't want it too far up. Comfortable is right at your back hairline. And you're gonna take your pins and then just put those pins where you have folded it. Keep that fold line just like it is. You don't wanna cut anything at this point. All you want to do is to go and take off all of the wefts that are above that fold line. Remove each of the wefts with a seam ripper. Use a seam ripper to remove the stitches from this panel. Cut off this casing that encloses the adjustable strap on both sides. Now use your seam ripper to remove the stitches that connects this panel and the adjustable strap. Use your seam ripper to remove the stitches so that you can take out the hook from the adjustable strap. Right before this part of the adjustable strap, you just want to cut that away and have this part of the adjustable strap left. Do the same thing with the other strap. This is how the cap should look now and you're ready to make the casing for the adjustable strap. Now you want to make the bottom of the cap so that it will contour to the shape of your head. Use your tailor's chalk to draw that contour. and then start to fold the cap along that line you have drawn. You're gonna find that on the ends, you're gonna have wefts that keep you from making it contoured. What you want to do is to go ahead and fold it up, but where you see those wefts, use your seam ripper to detach the wefts to that contour line, like I'm showing you how to do. Now you should be able to fold the fabric along the line and it will be contoured. Cut off the excess lace to make it even. Now you're going to form a casing by folding the fabric just like I'm showing you here. You want to fold it over twice so that you can have a nice seam. Use your pins to pin it in place all the way around, keeping the fold even and wide enough for the elastic to be able to go through. When you get to either end, you're gonna find that you're going to run out of the fold. 
You're going to have the same width until you get to the very end. So you're going to have like a little slanted corner right at the end. And that is fine because that's where you're going to thread your elastic through. Now you're ready to sew the casing. You're going to use your needle and make small overhand stitches close together all the way across the top of the casing. Making sure to lock stitch several times at the end of each side so that the stitches do not come undone. Now cut off one of the elastic straps. You're going to sew it to the end of the other adjustable strap. Take a small safety pin and put it through the end of the elastic and then thread it through the casing pulling it out at the other end. Each and every day there's gonna be things that get in your way. And still you gotta shine. Secure the end with several lock stitches. Sew one to three combs at the nape that will insert under your braided hair. If you want to add density back to the wig, sew the tracks that you took out back to the wig between two tracks where you want to add thickness again. Don't let the hot shapes hold you back, just keep your head up, stay on track. Because you gotta shine. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just so excited about how my channel is growing so quickly. And I looked last night and see that I almost have a half million views. Oh, so exciting. And I owe it all to you all. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And tell others what I'm doing here on my channel, Miss Lola's Hair and More. I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.